The gift I guess, I don't know even how you want to describe it. You'll have to figure that out yourself, what you think it is. Um, putting your alphabet back into the soil again and having that connection with opportunity with Mother Earth. Another way of explaining what it is to be Māori and how proud I am of, of being Māori. It was a rough life, a rough journey for me. Um, didn't know what my rise were about, didn't know how to speak Māori. I was in a very closed up world over there. When I was younger, I had all these hang ups about why I wasn't Māori, and the reason I wasn't Māori was because I didn't grow up with my Māori family around me 24 7. Is that a lot of us got brought up not knowing our language? My mum was very colonised. Mum was brought up in that world of, you know, don't speak Māori. Um, don't do Māori things. Our young people have lost their way to go into the cities. They've gone off into the cities and um, they've lost them. Their, their, they've lost their connection with their, their whenua, with their family, with their, their tribe, their people. And we we end up in a gang culture. Oi, Taringa, Wangaranga, Kia Mau! Hey! Kia Bakia! Oh, Bakia, Bakia! Umatira ha! Suri Fatsia! Oi, Oi, Tangahia, Kakina! Kakina, Nei Haki! Oi, come up there! What they call! Three fingers represents physical, spiritual and intellectual things. But others have changed the story and they say that it's the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. We wear our pride upon our skin. Our pride is always from within. We wear our pride upon our face from another time and place because you know we've got a message to tell. Only the family that, that run through that man's blood have the right to wear that moko. And that's the spiritual side of moko, eh? Moko's alive, our blood feeds it. Moko, it's our story. It tells of our, our genealogy, it tells of our dreams, of our passions. It's ours, it's not governed by trend, it's who we are. The patterns are chosen and come from um, the environment. It's a beautiful way of writing, I guess, you just have to know how to read it. It's that thought process, the meaning of the work that you put into the work that makes it unique in Māori. And that's all about that, that it's connecting, it's connecting back to people, connecting back to land. Our ancestors crashed a uh, fair walker. The story goes, is that we're told to go ashore and have a look around. We're told, you better get back before nightfall. And uh, they didn't listen, and so they were turned to stone and turned to the very hills that, um, that surround us here. And they live there today. So um, that hill is not just a hill, that hill is 
part of my family, part of my history, part of our history, and part of what we call our whakapapa, our genealogy. I guess is how our old people saw, saw life, you know? It's like you respect the earth, you, you look after it, you, otherwise it's gone. It's pretty simple. And um, you respect life and you respect death. I mean, for us, you know, our dead are um, they're very much a part of who we are, so we acknowledge them. They're not um, unspoken of anymore as they can be in some cultures. For us, those, our loved ones are acknowledged um, all the time. We, we talk to them as if they're here, because they are, in my world. <laughs> What makes you Māori is your ancestry and knowing where you come from and where you're connected to and who those people are. Um, for many in New Zealand we haven't had the chance to do that. But when we do find out who we are, it's like suddenly the puzzle's put together and you think, yeah, I want, the, I want more, I want more. I want more for my daughter. I want her to know who she is, where she comes from, but I also want her to be able to pass on uh, more of, of who we are, our culture. Our children now, we have kohanga reals where they learn to speak our language. My grandchildren all speak Māori. It makes me so proud. They are actually teaching me. I feel proud when I see people in the street. I can say kia ora, you know, ka kite, you know, and all that. So I'm getting there. <laughs>